early. I've got a full body reformer Pilates class this morning at a new studio actually that I'm really excited to go to. So I'm just getting ready for that. I cannot believe that it's February already. I was actually thinking about this this morning. I was thinking about the amount of pressure that we put on ourselves in January. I know that I definitely do. I think there's this whole narrative around January. Everywhere you look that's all like about new beginnings, fresh starts, being productive, being proactive about things, like getting things done, being this best version of yourself and this year I just haven't really felt that I just feel like I don't know I feel like January just flew by and there's all these things that I was meant to have done with my January that I just haven't done and I think it can be really easy to give yourself a really hard time when it seems like everyone else is you know having the best January ever and like smashing all their goals and all of that stuff one of the things that occurred to me when I was thinking about it this morning because I woke up and I had that panic feeling that it's already February and I haven't done all the things I promised myself I would do. I kind of realised that January, as much as it can be a really amazing fresh start or a new beginning or a chance to get really serious about your goals, it also is kind of just a concept that we've all come up with because January is actually the middle of winter. Nature's still kind of in hibernation and slow and it's spring really when things like bloom in nature but I don't know that's not to say that spring is the time that we all need to be doing all these new things it's more just to say that if your January has been a little bit slower like mine definitely has been this year not to be too hard on yourself because you know February is just as good of an opportunity so is March so is any month really or any week or any day so maybe those of us that have a slow January are just still in our winter hibernation you know and we shouldn't give ourselves a hard time about that anyway this is what i'm wearing full lululemon oh and i went to an event the other day and i was given these gorgeous reformer um pilates socks i can figure out the brand i will let you know and i'll link them but they're lovely full lululemon as always because comfort is key so let's get changed and head to pilates <laughs> is done I've just freshened up a little bit and popped on a jumper because I think I'm gonna head to a coffee shop and get some work done um maybe get a matcha maybe even get some brunch actually because I'm quite hungry um but I always feel like I'm more productive when I go to a coffee shop and I'm not at home just feel like you don't have as many distractions and I also really like the white noise of a cafe um so I'm gonna head over and do that now but I'm gonna have a chilled minimal makeup day today because I've really noticed I've been slipping back into the habit of being really reliant on wearing like a full face of makeup and doing my hair every day it's definitely something that I've spoken about in therapy before and my therapist says he thinks it comes from when I was really like quite badly bullied at school um because it kind of coincided with being like 14 and experimenting with makeup and I think just something formed there where wearing makeup made me feel um I don't know more confident or more accepted or good enough or something like that and I think something formed around that age between me and my relationship with makeup that has you know followed me throughout my whole life one of the things I tell myself about YouTube for example is that you guys wouldn't want to see me without makeup that wouldn't be good enough and that sort of thing which I know is probably not the case because all of my favorite youtubers I could not tell us they could wear a literal bin liner 
and I would still want to watch them because I just love their content. So I know that that's not a real thing, it's just the things that we tell ourselves, you know. So we have just got mascara, we have got lip balm, and we have got, oh, this new concealer actually. Um, I got it from a natural beauty company called RMS. So it's all made of really natural ingredients as well. I'm just about to pop out to Neptune. I didn't realise that we had a Neptune up here. I used to always go down in the Cotswolds. There's one in Cheltenham. And I feel like there used to be one on Broadway, but don't quote me on that. I'm not, there's definitely not anymore, but I feel like there was, maybe not, don't know. It's just like a really lovely home store, but I love the way that they dress their showroom slash their shops as if they were homes. So you go into each different room and they've kind of dressed it as a whole room in a house. I feel like you can really visualise different pieces of furniture. What I love from Neptune is their home, um, like decor, ornamenty pieces. This is one that's from Neptune. My sister actually bought me this artichoke for Christmas quite a few years ago. And this is one of my favourite little sort of ornament type things in the house. So I thought I would go for a bit of a browse. Just grabbing my cup of tea. And then I thought we'd just combine the whole thing with a dog walk, because it's over near some of the dog walks. And yeah, just tick some things off the to-do list. So let's go. I was just saying to mum, another thing that I really like about these shops is that they fill the drawers and the cupboards and things. So this is a cutlery set that you can buy here. I actually would like to get some nice um, cutlery because we just still have the stuff that I think, honestly, we got from Ikea when we first moved into a house together. what I was saying earlier about the way that they lay it out here is like a house so obviously this would be a kitchen a very nice one so through here they've got like all of their accessories and bits here and then they've got a bedroom pretty much every room in this place oh that's nice that is the kind of thing that excites me 
um, and then I think this would be like a living room. I didn't know they did smaller ones as well. I have the big one at home. But yeah, it just gives you an idea of how you could style things. I definitely need more bookshelves. I like this as well. They have some really nice um, little lamps to pop on desks and things. Oh, that's a nice side table. I do actually need a side table for the living room because we never have anywhere to just put down like a cup of tea. I need to show mum that one. I love this unit with this ladder on. That's definite kitchen goals. That's nice, isn't it, mum? I mean, you don't actually need a ladder just to get up there, but it looks good, doesn't it? And they have the nicest, this is what I was saying about, they have the nicest like pots and just little ornaments to decorate things like this unit with. I really like this blue. They also do it in a brown, I quite like the brown. Do you like the brown, mum? Or you prefer the blue? Yeah, the brown. It depends on the time of year, doesn't it? If you ask me this in autumn, I'd like the brown, but now that it's like spring, I think blue, they're nice too. Not that I need them, but I really like the print on them. later on now I just had some general adulting to do when I got home nothing interesting all just laptop admin -y bits so I've been up here with a big cup of tea just getting stuff done and I got changed into just some comfies these joggers are actually the best they're so soft they're just from Hollister but I'm definitely gonna go online and order some more talking of online orders I thought I would tell you about some new skincare bits that I treated myself to the other day. I found this girl and now I thought about this all day and I cannot for the life of me remember what she's called. I think I found her on, I don't know, it could have been Instagram, could have been TikTok, I'm not sure. But this girl had the most flawless, youthful, healthy, radiant looking skin I've just ever seen. Now I know that everyone's skin is different and I know there's an element of genetics and things like that that play into it. But did I remember any of that at the time? No, I didn't. Did I order every single product that she mentioned? Yes, I did. So I thought I would show you. It's all Korean skincare. I'm definitely on Korean skincare TikTok at the moment. But anyway, I thought I would show you the bits I picked up. Some of these bits I have tried, some things I haven't, just because I do actually have quite sensitive skin on my face, I'm realizing. And because of that, I always make the mistake of buying a load of new skincare, using all of it at once, then getting a reaction on my face, then not knowing which product it was, and then never using any of them ever again, just in case. So I have learned from my errors, and now I only introduce one product at a time, just to make sure. Um, it doesn't do anything. I kept the boxes to show you. Um, but the first one is basically a really heavy duty moisturizer. It's a moisturizing cream to strengthen the skin's moisture barrier. It contains something that I cannot pronounce. Pan then, no, I'm just gonna stop there. But anyway, this thing that soothes irritated skin and then it keeps the skin moisturized by giving back the skin's oil and moisture balance with shea butter and oil complex. Anyway, to me, so far, it just feels like a really rich moisturizer, but so far so good in terms of not being too heavy to the point where it breaks me out, because sometimes that happens, even with the Waleda skin food that I swear by, if I use the regular one and not the light one, that can be too rich for my skin. The next thing I ordered was this toner. Now I've not tried this myself yet. I think I'll probably try this tonight, actually. Um, I'm just trying to read if I can get any information about this, because like I said, I just added everything this girl mentioned to my basket. Okay, it says how to use. It's a soothing toner and it says use it after washing and cleansing. The company that I ordered all these bits from, which is called Skin Cupid, they send you this really helpful card which tells you how to layer your skincare. So this says I should put my toner on after I've cleansed and exfoliated. Um, and from what this girl did, she just like puts a bit in her hand and then 
pats it all over her face. So I'll let you know how I get on with that because I've not been getting on well with toners recently. And then the last thing I got, which again, I've not tried yet, was this eye cream, which I've not tried again because that's where my sensitive skin is around my eyes. So I'm just waiting for a brave evening to give this a go. Um, but it's Marine Care Eye Cream, Total Eye Care Cream, Anti-Wrinkle and Brightening. Now, eye creams, but take it or leave it for me. None of them really seem to make much difference to my under eyes, but I have seen a few people saying this one actually is really good. So yeah, it just says it's good for wrinkle improvement, elasticity, moisturization, and brightening, which what more do you need? Should we open it? I've not actually opened this. And it's a big box for a little product. So I'll let you know how I get on with my new Korean skincare journey that I'm on. I'm really hoping that my skin looks like this girl's skin in honestly a matter of, by tomorrow morning is what I'm hoping, but we'll see. Um, anyway, I am about to go downstairs and help dad cook some dinner. We're gonna do a bit of a team effort on dinner tonight. Um, so let's go see if he needs some help. Dad said that if you're making something like a shepherd's pie and you want to do it quickly and easily, a good cheat is to use something like this miso broth just to add like a kind of depth of flavour. It's definitely a cheat, but it's good for when you want to make something quickly. getting into my pajamas, getting into bed, getting a cup of tea, I've got peppermint tonight, and loading Love Island All Stars onto my laptop. At this point, I'm not even ashamed to admit it, I am fully invested. At the Joe Malone event that I went to earlier in the week, all of us girls there were discussing our obsession with this All Stars season. It's so good. I feel like it's really divisive. Either you hate the All Stars season or you love it. And I personally love it because I think the fact that a lot of them know each other outside of Love Island and they've all got like little bits of history and some of them are exes and all that stuff actually makes it more real. Because let's be honest, Love Island, like regular Love Island now is not, it probably never was, but even more so now, it's not got anything to do with actually finding someone. Whereas I feel like this season, because of the connections from the outside, we are seeing a lot more like real emotion, which is what made Love Island entertaining in the first place. I guess it kind of lost that when everyone started going on there as like a strategic move, you know? Anyway, that's my thoughts on Love Island that no one asked for. I've had a really good day today. I feel like it's been a really productive day actually. Um, I've got a lot done off my to-do list, which is always a good feeling. And isn't it just the best feeling when you sit down at the end of the day or you get into bed at the end of the day and you know you've really earned, you know, your hour or two of TV of just sitting and chilling because you've had a really productive day. Look at this picture that Kenny sent me earlier today. Baby Rue and Kenny when he had his blonde highlights. He also sent me a picture of him in his new kit over there. Look at his face. This is why we think Kenny never smiles because look at him. That's his face on the football pitch doing what he loves most in this world. And that is what his face looks like. So no wonder we can never get a smile out of him. Um, but I think he's doing really well. He was sending me pictures this morning from a little cafe. I'll show you guys. Oh my gosh, I've got some hilarious pictures, but I think he would absolutely kill me. I cannot cope with that photo. I texted him saying, surely that's an ick. It has to be. Um, what was I gonna show you? Oh yeah, he sent me some pictures from like a little cafe he went to this morning that looks quite cool. But yeah, I think he's doing well. I think he's settling in his morning coffee. I'm actually really excited to go out and see him. But yeah, it's all going okay. 
so far. Anyway, I'm gonna take myself off for an early night. Got Pilates again in the morning. Got another busy week next week, actually. So I will see you next week. I hope you have the best week ever. I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you are feeling good and positive going into February. And I can't wait to catch up next week. Bye guys. Thank you.